In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 14, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Cincinnati Reds This Wednesday, the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds will play the final game of this four-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside the Great American Ballpark. The last time that these two teams matched up, the Reds walked away with the series win. The Pittsburgh Pirates came into this one after losing their previous series to the St. Louis Cardinals. Pittsburgh struggled on the mound in the final two games of that series, as they allowed 11 combined runs. They will have to be better on the mound if they want to take down the Reds on the road. The Cincinnati Reds are entering this one after losing their last series to the Milwaukee Brewers. The Reds also struggled on the mound, as they gave up 12 combined runs in the final two games of that series. The Pirates are 50 6 to 131 in their last 187 road games and 15 to 38 in the last 53 overall. Pittsburgh is 14 to 40 in their last 54 Wednesday games. Meanwhile, the Reds are 0 to 5 in their last 5 in game 4 of a series and 6 to 22 in their last 28 Wednesday games. The under is 4 to 1 in Cincinnati's last 5 in game 4 of a series. Both Pittsburgh and Cincinnati are already looking to the future with several young players in the lineup one of which is Pittsburgh's Juan Cruz, who is considered one of the most unique and fun players in Major League Baseball. In only 67 games played this season, the 6'7 shortstop has 57 hits, including 9 doubles, 4 triples, and 14 home runs with 44 RBI. Cincinnati has lost each of the last three, including the first game of this series, and at home the Reds are 5-8 in the last 13. Pittsburgh starter Ronzi Contreras has had four consecutive strong starts, allowing 15 hits and four runs in 23 at third innings. Contreras is on a nice run right now. In his last three games, Contreras has 16.1 innings total with just two earned on 11 hits and six walks. He's 2-0 in that stretch. As for Lotolo, he's got just five earned over his last three starts in 21 innings. We should have a pretty fun starter matchup here, and I think the Pirates can power out a win if Contreras keeps it going. Pittsburgh has started this series with three straight wins, including sweeping the Tuesday doubleheader. Pittsburgh will start Ronzi Contreras, who has allowed two runs over his last three starts. For the Reds, Nick Lodolo has allowed five runs over his last 21 innings. Both of these teams are going to struggle at the plate at different points of this game, as neither of them has been consistently great at the dish this season. The Pirates are scoring the third least amount of runs per game, and they have the second lowest overall team batting average. They will fail to consistently reach base safely. The Reds have also been bad at the plate this season, as they are only scoring the 17th most runs per game, and they have the 16th highest overall team batting average. Both of these starting pitchers look great in their last starts. They will come into this game with confidence and they will both pitch fairly deep into this game. I just don't trust either one of these offenses to explode at the plate and I like both starting pitchers on the mound. Wadalo shut down the Brewers in his last start and Contreras has been a beast at home. Both team totals will remain low and this game will remain low scoring and close. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. I see the Braves teeing off on Jakob Junis. He looked solid in his last start, but he hasn't done enough to prove that he can shut down one of the best hitting teams in the league. The Braves are currently scoring the second most runs per game and they have the ninth highest overall team batting average. They will score multiple times throughout this game. The Braves are also hitting the second most home runs as they are averaging 1.54 per game. They will hit a few in this one. The Giants are allowing the 18th most runs per game as a team and I see their bullpen struggling in this one. They currently have the 22nd highest overall bullpen earned run average in the league as they have continued to get shelled late in these games. The Braves will score throughout this entire entire game, and they will score the majority of the runs in this one. Now, I also see the Giants scoring a few insurance runs in this one, as Wright did struggle against the Athletics in his last start. The Giants are scoring 4.5 runs per game, as they will eventually cash in at the plate. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Los Angeles Angels vs. Cleveland Guardians The Los Angeles Angels battle the Cleveland Guardians in the three-game series finale on Wednesday afternoon. The Angels will have Patrick Sandoval on the hill. The Guardians will counter with Cal Quantrill. The Angels lead the season series by a 4-2 mark. Cleveland has far more to play for in this matchup on Wednesday as the Guardians are first in the American League Central but have just a three-game lead. The Guardians have won each of the last four overall and nine of the last 13 against a left-handed starting pitcher. Los Angeles has lost four out of the last five overall and the Angels have dropped nine of the last 13 played on the road. Cleveland starting pitcher Cal Quantrill has had four consecutive strong outings, allowing 20 hits but just four earned runs in 21 innings pitched with Cleveland winning three of the four starts. Cleveland third baseman Jose Ramirez has been one of the American League's most consistent hitters this season with 40 doubles, four triples, 26 home runs, and 109 RBI. The Angels are decent but have nothing to play for while the Guardians are looking to secure first place in the American League Central. So the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. The total has finished under in four out of the last five games that Los Angeles has played in Cleveland as well as in five out of the last seven games that Los Angeles and Cleveland have played overall. Cal Quantrill has an earned run average of 3.5, but the Cleveland right-hander has not allowed more than two earned runs in six of the last seven starts. Los Angeles starter Patrick Sandoval has a 2.98 earned run average and has allowed two earned runs or less in each of the last five starts. Patrick Sandoval has been outstanding, posting a minuscule 1.39 earned run average last month and he allowed just one run in his lone outing of September. The Guardians have only played at 15 runs in six games against the Angels this season. In addition, the Angels will have trouble generating runs against Quantrill. He has registered a 3.34 earned run average at home and the Halos have scored four or fewer runs in seven out of their last 10 games. The under is also 8-2 in the Guardians' last 10 home games. I expect scoring to be at a premium in this game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Colorado Rockies vs. Chicago White Sox The Colorado Rockies will be taking on the Chicago White Sox on Wednesday in the final game of a two-game interleague series. These teams also split a two-game set in Colorado back in late July. Kyle Freeland will take the ball for the Rockies as Dylan Cease makes the start for the White Sox. The Rockies are 17-45 in their last 62 road games and 25-73 in the last 98 road games versus a right-handed starter. Colorado is 1-5 in their last six Wednesday games. Meanwhile, the Sox are 11-2 in their last 13 in Game 2 of a series and the under is 6-2 in their last 8 Wednesday games. Colorado is dead last in the majors in earned run average at 5.11. It is not the starters, or at least not totally, as they are 13th in quality starts. That is not always the truest measure, though. 1BCJ Cron is hitting some of the longest bombs in the majors this season, but other bats have not really emerged. 3B Ryan McMahon has taken a step back. It is hard to see who is going to be the next homegrown lead hitter. The Rockies usually have one. Chicago has worked itself back into the race in the American League Central. This team is tops in the majors in batting average, but in reality the lineup has not performed to expectations. Too many injuries and underperformance from top hitters is the reason they have not taken command of the division. It is hard to believe but nobody on the team had more than 15 homers heading into Tuesday's action. SS Tim Anderson is not in the lineup, so they are missing their top catalyst. Colorado left Kyle Freeland is a much better pitcher away from Coors Field. That is no surprise. He has been very good September so far and better since the All-Star break overall. As a veteran, maybe he is not breaking down as much as others. As for Chicago, it is handing the ball to Dylan Cease, a righty who has quickly become one of the most dominant pitchers in baseball. He leads Major League Baseball in batting average against, is second in earned run average and fourth in Ks. Those are Cy Young level numbers. The mound matchup is a total mismatch in favor of the White White Sox, and with the way the Rockies struggle on the road there is no reason to think that is going to change on Wednesday. Of course with Cease on the mound the White Sox are very heavy favorites at minus 240. Cease has been close to unhittable in September, with the White Sox winning by a combined 27-2 in his two starts this month. So the Chicago White Sox to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Looking at the pitching splits for these guys, Kyle Freeland is 3-5 with a 3.46 earned run average in 13 road games, while Dylan Cease is 6-3 with a 2.39 earned run average in 15 home games so far. Colorado is brutal on the road as they are 29th in the big leagues with a .629 team OPS on the road, while Chicago is tied for 18th in the majors with a .703 team OPS at home this season. The under has hit in each of the previous four games against one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.